Hey everyone, I'm here to do the 10 most awesome book covers um, that's been going around because Artsy Gal 12 um, started it. Um, I'll link her channel below. Um, it's about the 10 uh, prettiest, most awesome whatever covers that you own. Um, so I picked 10 and I have one honorable mention. Um, so, yeah. Let's get started. The first one I picked is the UK cover of Inside Out by Maria V. Schneider. I seriously think this is a stunning cover. I love this so much more than I love um, the uh, US covers with the white and the blue. I really don't like those. I really love those, these. Um, Outside In also has a great, great cover. Um, so yeah. This is the one of the first ones that I picked. I have to say, I don't do these in order, so I may say that this is my favorite, but I might show it third or something. Um, next one I picked, Across the Universe by Beth Ravis. Um, it's a reversible cover, but I do not really like the other cover. I think it's handy to see how the ship works, um, because it looks like this. But I absolutely adore the cover with the universe on um, the background. Um, I think it looks stunning and yeah, it's so awesome. Um, I will uh, put an annotation in uh, for the artists of the covers because I do not have time to edit these out. I'm um, pending between home and hospital because my sister has been admitted yesterday, so um, yesterday was Thursday, so um, I'm just quickly recording this in between visits, so um, across the universe. Uh, then I picked Fallen by Lauren Kate. Um, I think this is a great cover. I love it. Um, I do not love the cover for Passion as much because the girl looks like... She She's, she's so skinny, that's... No. It's ridiculous. But this one is really, really pretty. I haven't read the book yet, but... The cover is stunning. I really like the combination of the blue and the black. And her dress and the gloves she wears. And just the old vibe around it. So, really looks good. Um, the next one I picked is another book that I haven't read yet. This is Entwined by Heather Dixon. And I think this is gorgeous. Um, I love her dress and the little swirly flower things around it and she is running towards a castle and you can see the castle tower um, here and it's just a really really pretty cover and I really like it um, so I should be reading this one soon um, I love that the inside flap also has these flowers and just a gorgeous cover then I picked The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong and one of the things that I love most about this cover is that it's really matte, like totally not smooth. It's I wouldn't call it gritty, but it's a little rough and I really like that and I love that they put lace on the back and the popping of the color, the ruby here, it's just awesome, I love this, but I think the, this series has great covers overall so um, I think um, they did a great job on designing the covers for this series so yeah one of the prettiest covers I own um, then I picked Wither by Lauren DeStefano um, I think I saw this in Artsy Gal her um, video as well it's just stunning I love the the combination of the purple and the pinkish font and then her dress it just complements each other so nicely and well it's not really a purple it's a bit navy I'm not sure but it looks gorgeous and also on the inside flap it's amazing it has a lily in here and then on the other side you see a little bird and it's just a great great cover and it looks like this and it's a dystopian and I think this has a really good vibe about it so 
yeah, also one of my absolute favorites. Um, then I picked Nightshade by Andrea Kremer. Um, this is the old cover, and if I had a new cover, I wouldn't have put it anywhere near my top 10. Um, I'm still upset about the fact that they ch changed the covers. Um, I was hoping that they would keep at least one line um, of books with the covers that they had, because I love the um, Wolfsbane cover as well, the old Wolfsbane cover, and the, f the Nightshade cover, the new one, that one is okay, but I do not like the second one, it just looks, I wouldn't even pick it up if it looked like that, but this one is stunning. I love the purple and the fact that her eye is some kind of goldish yellow green and um, her makeup is gorgeous and the flowers and the silver um, font and it's just an amazing cover. This I think top 3 material. It's so pretty but I still haven't read it. But it's a seriously pretty cover and I love it. Um, my pile is falling over. Um, next one I picked is Sing Me to Sleep by Angela Morrison. And what I like about this cover is the simplicity of it. Um, just a guy and a girl holding hands um, in the rain. Um, it's just... It, it Also, it really catches the vibe of this story. And it matches with it, and it's just great. I love the font they picked for Sing Me. And on the back is more rain. And I think this is one of... This is my favorite. Um, because of its simplicity, because of the feeling that those hands have. And because I think that cover... Um, it, ma it, it captures the story perfectly, so... This is my favorite cover. Um, then I picked The Iron Thorn by Caitlin Kudredge um, because I love the girl on the cover. I love her blouse and I love the uh, letters. Um, I love the feeling around this cover. It looks vintage, I would say. Um, I love that she's not your typical beauty. I love that her hair isn't perfect. I love that... Um, she clutches her blouse and I love the, the birds in the background. Um, this is a great cover and I think this also fits the story really well. Um, this is the spine by the way with another image of her. Um, this is a great cover and I really liked it and like it and I really like the story as well so I would recommend it but the cover is gorgeous. And then last but not least um, also, in my top three, I would say, and yes, I know, I probably named four as my absolute favorites, but oh well. Um, Nevermore by Kelly Cray. Um, I love this cover. I love um, Varen and Isabel and the writing that is scribbled all over them. Um, I think this cover is honestly the first book or this book is the first book that I picked up purely because I saw the cover coming along on bookshelf tours um, I thought it looked stunning and I had to have it because it looked so pretty um, on the back is her dress and um, I'm so glad that I picked it up because it's a great great book um, I really loved it and, but the cover Come on, how can you not say that this is gorgeous? I really like it. I also like really like uh, the cover of Enshadowed, which is book two, which will be coming out in 2012. And looks gorgeous as well. I think they will be fitting uh, pretty, pretty beside each other. And then I have an honorable mention. Um, this isn't what you would call your typical awesome, pretty, beautiful cover. Um, but this is also a case of, I love the simplicity of it, um, the Vampire Diaries covers by L.J. Smith. I picked Nightfall because this is my favorite cover of the books that I have. 
Um, I love the black background and then just the feather with the blood. I really like that. It's so simple, but it just draws me in. And I know that, for example, Twilight also has like a black background and a swirly ribbon or something. <clears throat> but I think this is so much different. I I like these these covers so much more than I like Twilight covers. But I also like that they made some the cover is matte and then there are shiny swirly thingies around it. So yeah, that's my honorable mention. And that's it for my ten prettiest awesomest most beautiful covers um, I'm sure that I will think of another one that I wanted to add um, as soon as I end this video but for now these are it um, feel free to do this video as well um, I'll link uh, artsy gals channel uh, in the bottom bar below so be sure to check out her video as well um, let me know in the comments if you have any um, favorite covers or leave a video response and I'll talk to you guys later.